no idea where I am. Outplayed. Oh. One HP. They are attacking us, yes. Oh my god, this team is getting carried off. Oh, right. Stupid. Oh, zero's on a fucking ninja, you could've got that. G'day, my name is E.B. Nispel. I'm going to be bringing you some tank gameplay from the beta on the US side with the M1 Abram equivalent. So, this game almost actually didn't happen because if you guys have been playing the beta a fair bit and you've been playing any of the vehicles, there is the return of the dreaded spawn bug. So basically where if you try and spawn on flags or certain people or, in my case, vehicles, it won't allow you to do that. Now, now, before you go into it being like, oh, but it has that new spawn system so you can't spam it. Yeah, I'm very aware of how that works and I've very thoroughly tested it that it just sometimes just bugs out. And honestly, I haven't been able to get as many tank rounds as I would like to because of this. Because yeah, I would say slash, this bug is so present that I would say at least 80% of the games that I play in, this, this bug happens. This, and it's this really, really is yeah, frustrating. Yeah, yeah. So I'm hoping this, this gets fixed shit. by the time the game is released. Otherwise, I do actually like how the um, spawn system works. So once you die, it gives um, new players to a chance to actually play the game. Which, in my opinion, the only way someone's going to get good at anything is if they get exposure to it. So, you could also make the argument, well, there's going to be hundreds and hundreds of servers, but when you go and consider that, you know, in two, three years time, the server and play base might drop down, hopefully it isn't, and this game turns out to be a great hit. In my opinion, I reckon it does have great potential to do that, because the gunplay is fantastic. Uh, as far as vehicles go in this, uh, the early review would give it, if I had to give it a number, is a 7 out of 10, and that would be a generous number when I'm considering, I'm comparing this to Battlefield 5's Beta and Alpha, which um, was a bit frustrating and left me wondering that if they did any real testing with um, people that actually know how to play vehicles in this game. But that's a whole other topic and rant for another time, so... We won't go into it too much about it. So on the US side of this map, I like to do play around the two contested flags, which have two flags on it. And what I mean by that oh, okay. is to capture the zone, there's two flags in it. And I find a lot of the uh, gun fights and gunplay happens around here. So why not position myself with one of the strong assets to help fight out this situation? Now you can see right here, um, some people are actually even not trying to be well, too cocky here, but I have a feeling that people Bring have even watched some of my videos or figured out for themselves that the tunnel is a big see. meta right. for um, getting the tanks to uh, between flags, especially when their attack to halt prior is so strong in this game. So I managed to duke him out and get on top of the hill and use the tree as cover and kind of get into the third, right, position, yeah. third person position here and just finish him off from here. If that was any other um, decent tanker, I probably would have been dead right there, but I used my um, ability to quickly um, adapt and move myself out of the situation to kill him. So once again, if you have a gunner in your gunner seat, you should be able to, um, if you're going to be gunning in the tank, make sure you double check as you're coming out of the tunnel um, if they're going to be up the top there. And a really, really broken way to do that is if you go to the fourth seat, there's a spotter seat, you can actually use the scan ability and just as you come out of the tunnel, you can see if there's people sneaking oh, and waiting outside there for you. And you can kind of position your turret better to get those kills easier or just kind of go oh there's 10 people above me probably not the best idea for me to come out and try and take them on because that's just a simple math game 
You can see here I've gone on top of the hill trying to chase uh, the AA tank because the AA tank is probably a bit frustrating for uh, chopper players and jet players even though the jets are pretty uh, disappointing from what I've heard from other players that played this game that are jet enthusiasts. I would definitely say though that the little bird and the attack chopper are very strong and they're even more strong in this game because unfortunately we don't have access to the full loadout. So. If anyone's been on Twitter or follow a guy called Temporal, he has some uh, le in brackets leaked um, data mining data on the, what the loadout is to be expected for the tank, and I didn't see any of those things in the beta whatsoever. So, I would like to give a rating of what the balance is between both infantry, gunplay, and just tanking and vehicles, but with no access to the actual full utility that we will be experiencing in the full game it kind of feels a little bit pointless at this time to comment on that but as far as I can go it is pretty refreshing using zoom optics compared to our uh, thermals it has made this map really rewarding especially for if you've already seen on the thumbnail for this video that the fact that I go a hundred and zero it's probably in my opinion out of all the kill streaks and gameplay that I've ever played this I reckon honestly is my most favorite game round that I've ever played in a tank. Maybe pretty close or at least tied with the round that I played on Gold Mum. But either way, let's just talk about what or how I'm gonna position myself here. So when you come up to this E flag here, you just gotta be kind of aware that the spawn points are behind you there and it makes it really hard for you to point your turret down and shoot at them. So try and make sure that when you push it um have people around you. Uh, I do want to comment as well that the s flags in the beta sometimes don't spawn or pop up. I'm not sure why that's happening. It might be because there's simply some um, bugs because in theory one of my teammates pointed this out or one of my friends put it this way is those HQ spawn points uh, that are going to some of these middle flags maybe that's the layout for breakout for this map which would actually explain a lot why this map is a lot bigger than it should be and there's a lot of empty territory i find oh, like there's some like where was it kind of like one villages frame, which just have no flag asset what about it whatsoever no, and it's just kind of like me scratching my head when i think about breakthrough then and that explains it completely I do think they could have made the play zone a lot smaller for this map just to uh, make it a little bit more congested and actually people to play on the uh, objective in the flag and also I do think it's a little bit um, cringy to go around the whole backside of the map. Oh, my God. oh speaking of um, cringy moments I did not see that tank whatsoever but I think it's even more embarrassing that I've driven in front of that tank and he still hasn't seen me and he still hasn't saw me that's probably the freest kill that I could ever give another tanker so I'm gonna go and push him here and finish him off because I can see he's taking a bit of damage I gotta make sure I put a bit of damage into this guy so he doesn't shoot me in the back while I go and secure the kill and that's an easy kill for me right there so I gotta finish off this guy here as well and I can see that we don't actually hold a sector at this point so I'm gonna try and get back on here and help us at least have a little foothold on D because if we lose all the flags we're gonna our team's just gonna really struggle here so I just back on up here and try and use the range to my advantage so if you haven't really figured out from Battlefield 5 it's which is very similar to this I think in my early um, experience of the game that using range to your advantage to kind of uh, dodge rockets is very favorable and it just makes it a little bit more harder I do though want to comment on that the I feel like from just being on the receiving end that the rocket launches gain velocity over time which I, I don't understand why they're doing that I'm not sure if that's to um, stop tankers from sitting at the back of the mat or if it's just to kind of like help shoot um, aircraft but I do think that it's a little bit unskillful doing having that in place in the first place so hopefully the bounce side a little bit out um, maybe it might be different with um, the full countermeasures that the tank actually has and it might be actually even harder to kill in the full game so once again just some things I really don't want to comment on balance just yet because I don't think with the amount of time that we can put into this so like was it about five days three days four into the beta it's just not enough time to really 
justify what the meta is, but it can give you some ideas of things that maybe might need to consider once the game comes out and they start thinking about the first patch. I don't think there's going to be a lot of balances in the first patch anyway. It'll probably be just a more optimization stuff. But after two, two or three patches, I would expect some hard balance. Speaking of hard balance, I do think the Osprey needs to be uh, pretty balanced. It's basically a juggernaut at this point. You can see here I'm trying to use the uh, tunnel to protect myself from the attack chopper because the biggest threat to you in this game is not actually little bit. Little bits can be just really pestering. Um, the attack chopper will destroy you completely. So try and avoid um, yourself being exposed to them. Always have an escape route. And if you can see them in the distance, just don't risk it. Find a place that you can go around and just avoid the whole situation what to, what together. You can see here I'm just kind of just trying to gauge out if he's actually going to strafe me or actually just fly off. It's a little bit frustrating that my gunner is shooting it, but I didn't realize until now that um the gunner seat for the tankers actually does a fair bit of damage against um choppers, specifically uh the was it the nightbird, otherwise known as the little bird in Battlefield 4. It actually does surprisingly a lot of damage, and I've actually shot out pilots with it. So if you're in the gunner seat and you can see that, just Try and give it a go and kill him, but if you can see that he's not really bothering the tank in the first place, there's no point really um, shooting it because it's just unwanted attention. Uh, one thing you also need to consider as well is if you're in the gunner seat as well and I'm turning my turret, at this point it's bugged, so it basically shakes your screen when you're trying to aim in the gunner seat, and so it makes it really hard to gun for the gunner, so hopefully that gets uh, fixed up as well. Um, I deployed my smoke here because I've been mobility hit, so there's not much I can do. But he probably doesn't know that because he doesn't actually get a notification, which I do... I'm not sure if I, how I feel about that, if it's broken or if it's just, you know, somewhat balancing them, not knowing that. So... As you can see here, there's some pretty uh, crazy driving going on, just driving down straight in the middle of the map. Battlefield moments right there. I whiffed that shot and let that guy get all the way to the flag up there. Although, I don't know, for some reason that flag is bugged, so it's not there. I'm trying to figure out how to engage this tank at this point here as well, because he's just kind of an awkward position, and I don't know how much damage he's taken, and I don't know how much he's taken. But, as you can see, he dies anyway, which was indicated by the turret flying into the sky, so... I'm pushing myself up here, trying to help my team. I do know where the spawn points are, and all the spawn points for uh, D1 here, if I'm correct, is out on the open road there. Unless the flag isn't being contested, then most of the spawn points are actually on top of the flag. So, if you're pushing up with your team, and that just haven't got onto the cap circle yet, just keep your crosshead looking towards the middle of the flag. Otherwise, if you're actually contesting the flag, where I'm driving out here is actually a pretty decent spot to um, catch out all the spawners and make it really easy for your team to uh, recapture the flag. And that's what one thing I always uh, advocate, is if you can be in the vehicle and shut down the spawn points so that they can't have to run different classes, that you've done your job right there. As you can see, the spawn points are they're coming in right now, and I go to clear them up. I get uh, shot in my turret, so it makes my uh, turret a little turn a little slower. So I'm just going to back on up here, and I'm pretty sure that's all the guys there now. Do let me know, guys, if you would like to have like me do a review video of bugs that I found in the uh, beta that need to be fixed, or if you would like me to go in an in-depth, maybe five, ten-minute video about what I think of the tanks in the game so far, what, what are, what's good, what needs improvement, and how we can um, look, go forward from here in regards to the game's release. I'm not going to lie, this is probably the longest video I've ever recorded and done a voice over for, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to talk through the whole entire thing. I'm sure some people really just want to watch the gameplay for the gameplay itself, or just listen to me and my thoughts and comments and actually maybe some advice at the same time. So you can see me trying to hold this uphill area here, taking a bit of advantage of the situation with the fact that this flag doesn't work. So I can kind of just sit up here and take advantage of the situation and really defend the D flag from here because they normally they would be holding the uh, holding the give me flag which would be A right 
and uh, give me flag is F. Please look I know that I've got my backside covered right. from F, so I'm just going to hold this area here and just right really there. focus on trying oh. to shut down the area. Yeah. Especially with B being held by the enemy, they can actually shoot rockets from the very top of there, which is why I commented about the rockets traveling faster over time. I find right it now. kind of yeah. frustrating yeah, when I'm sitting yeah, on this that. area trying to control it and they're just ringing rockets from above and I can't really do anything about it. Although then you can make the argument about choppers doing their job and trying to control the roof and things like that. But once again, in practice, you can say it on pen and paper, all this stuff, but in practice, it's just a different story, which is what makes Battlefield Battlefield. You never can plan for the perfect situation. You always got to kind of prepare for the worst situation I find in this game. One thing I find a little bit frustrating, I should have covered on it before, but I was too busy talking. The visual effect from the rocket taking off, not gonna lie, it does irritate me because it shakes my screen like crazy, but like, I guess it's part of the immersion, but if you guys know me, I'm not really a fan of the immersion anyway, but I can still at least appreciate it, even if it's not my kind of cup of tea anyway. Once again, Battlefield brings a whole bunch of different people from different communities and things that they like about FPS shooters, so Honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's kind of cool just seeing like the two of best different worlds kind of like coming together. So that's what makes Battlefield a Battlefield in my opinion. Anyway, I'm just going to go over a couple of uh, other things real quickly because I am honestly struggling to do a voiceover completely for this video. One thing that uh, you need to make sure you keep an eye out on is the EMP drones. The EMP drones will basically uh, disable your vehicle from able to shoot or use countermeasures. If that happens, you're just going to have to back up and route around the situation. Or, if you can, shoot down the drone. Otherwise, yeah, you're basically sitting ducks and just a giant hitbox taking damage. I hope DICE fixes it up because the cooldown time is way too generous on that. It's about like 3 or 4 seconds, I swear. I haven't actually pulled it out and tried it out myself, so if you do know what what the cooldown time on it is, just tell me what it is like down below. And if you think that it needs to be um, balanced out, because my viewpoint versus someone else's is always going to be either exactly the same or the complete opposite and be a juxtaposition. So it's kind of cool hearing other people's thoughts and opinions anyway. Or maybe ways that they reckon they could balance it out a bit better, or things that maybe need to be buffed. So. Another thing uh, you need to keep an eye out on is simply the spawn points. Understand where the spawn points are coming from. From my early observations, whichever side or faction owns the flag, the spawn points are generally going to be that side of the map. So for example, if we are the US and we hold that flag that I'm shooting at in front of me, most of the spawn points are generally going to be to my left in that little forest area. Otherwise, if it's the Russian, it's going to be towards where you see like those little domey circle um, sphere things. Although, for some reason, I do think that flag in front of me does have a little bit of inconsistencies and they do actually still spawn up where I'm shooting up there anyway. But full of, for rule of thumb, just always try and have your backside facing towards your teammate because you know your teammate is going to cover your back, hopefully. Also, once again, if you've already watched some of my early beta videos, I will emphasize again because I really think this is a one-on-one of tanking. Always have an escape route so that if things get too dicey, you know how to pull out of there. Get out of your vehicle, do a bit of reps, and rinse and repeat and get back into the battle. Once again, emphasizing on the repair tool, how the repair tool works in this game because there's a cooldown time and it doesn't reset once you get back inside the vehicle. If you have the opportunity to do so, just simply um, step outside the vehicle, wait for a little bit for it to cool down again because there's nothing more frustrating getting into a close quarters fight and then you back up to repair and your tools overheated and you try and wait for it to cool down and you start trying to repair and either one, they come up to you and shoot you while you're trying to repair your vehicle or you only can get off so much reps and then you get back in and it's not enough to take your next record rocket. Anyway, I've honestly ran out of things to talk about, so I'm just going to let the gameplay and audio play in the background. Hopefully me tilting in the game doesn't bother you too much, and you enjoy listening to me and my mates playing the game. Like and subscribe, because I am definitely going to be putting out more footage for you. Peace. Am I supposed to shoot at helis in this? Or is it annoying? Uh, if they are attacking us, yes. Oh my god, this team is getting carried yeah, off. Right.
fuzzy left. Oh. Unlucky. You could have got a hundred kills in that round. Yep. Not sure if going to C is the play at this point. Uh, let me know when I need when you need me to wrap. Yeah. Sure. Hit the hind. Which gun is the best against helis? The uh, machine gun, the first one. this guy going? Anyone Wait, so how do I spot for you? Do I just... Um, spot a seat, which is four. I won't steal your kills either. It's so hard on the to hill, try. on the back it's hill. Fucking massive. No, he's not there anymore. On here. Uh, wish that would kill him. The There's shell. some in the open field coming from, uh, what is it? It says H. Oh, I'm crossing now. No idea where the enemy is. Behind us are the crates. Yep. Dead. Where is the enemy? Holy shit. Rolling is high. Behind the crate, left hand side. Do you want me to shoot it? Got him. You have to. Parachute coming in. On the hill behind them. Uh, the rock. Is this dude? Fuck. They're making a final push. Oh, do you want me to wreck you here? Yeah. Fuck, what's that? Oh, who is that? No worries, I got this, I got this. Oh. Oh, I gotta get back in my help. Oh good, it's just a little bit, yeah, I ain't gonna do shit. Oh good. He strikes low, I can hit him again. Ty, I still turn my turret so you can shoot him. Your turrets are really good against him. It's too high for me. I so also can't aim it. Trying to find where the people are. This is so weird. They're not in C or D. Do you need reps or not? Uh, hey, we're good. He's just been annoying. I'm hitting him up. Yeah, he's smoking. He's not enjoying that. Two, two, two. One up the rock now, one up the rock. Oh my god, I am. Alright, Fuzzy saw. Let's go. Is it DC? Fuzzy was on a fucking heater, he could have got 100 kills. Dude, Fuzzy is, is in my. He's the best infantry player I've seen in the game so far. Oh, 
I'm even shady at practice. I'm not doing too bad, I got 70 kills. Tank. I just spend most of my time like running around not finding them. Tunnel or not here. One on the guy on the roof behind us. On the roof as well. Spotting, spotting, spotting. They're down to the last of their attack force. Spotting them up here. Yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah. Holy yeah, shit. You that time? You your rep today, no pets. <gasps> a hundred! Did you actually? Yep. I don't. I Kill thought you got 90 assist. something. This is two assists. Ah. Close. Very you close. can say it's a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it says a hundred on the end screen. Yep. Oh. Finally happened. Either way, 98 still better than. That was than probably my best in this game.